Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Robinson, and I'm making a film called The Great Spirit in the Sky. This is a love story about the working people rebuilding the World Trade Center. It's totally different from anything else being made about the site, and it's more like an allegorical tale or a parable about the human spirit that redefines the nuts and bolts documentary about the rebuilding. The film will celebrate and honor the dangerous work that the men and women are doing on site. It is a poetic and spiritual vision of what is happening on the world's most controversial and talked about construction site. Through a powerful, and animated, a powerful animated story based on an original American Indian myth, the film weaves a gripping narrative around the many years of construction on site and creates a sense of suspense and mystery about the final outcome. It is a journey through time that finds love and beauty in unexpected places. I describe it as a love story because the whole process of rebuilding this site is essentially a profound expression of the love for life. It is about that major and redeeming quality in the human spirit that having suffered such an unimaginable catastrophe, people's natural instinct is to rebuild and start over, and in a spirit of healing, to work together uh, to rise above the chaos. I've now been filming on site since the summer of 2006, and as well as this, I've been drawing and painting the ever-changing landscape and scenes of life on the site, including portraits of the construction workers. Over time, these two art forms have somehow converged, and this is how the idea of a parallel animated story came about. Having painted many of the characters on site, such as Tom Hickey, who is one of the leading iron workers building Tower One, there seemed to be an energy and a force in these paintings that called for them to come alive in animation. A parallel story told in the free-spirited language of painting was emerging. Many of the iron workers who connect beams and columns are American Indians, and they have a natural gift for this work, as they don't have a fear of heights. As well as this, the beautiful images and quests in their mythology are now taking the film in a very exciting new direction. In some of the conversations I've had with them, I'm struck by their sense of being connected to their origins and being aware of the spirit of the land. And this sense of connection with the spirit of the earth is very close to what the architect Daniel Liebeskind refers to in his book, Breaking Ground. He describes it as the sense of place and also talks about his moment of revelation when he reached out and touched the slurry wall of the site and how he read this as a symbol of the resistance against chaos and destruction, a symbol of the unshakable value of human life and liberty. The sense of place is very present in my own powerful memory through the years of filming and that is the memory of seeing the earth of New York, the extraordinary landscape of three billion year old bedrock lay bare in the heart of the city, timeless and unmoved, revealing its hidden soul. So the vision of the film is to honor the work of many thousands of people through the years of rebuilding, and at the same time to connect with something timeless and universal. Through the eternal noble spirit of working people, the film will reflect that quest for peace and the inner certainty that light will shine through the darkness.
Thank you very much.